Now we'll talk about transmitting pressure through a fluid and we'll start off with Pascal's law. Pascal stated that any change in the pressure acting on a fluid is transmitted to all parts of the fluid equally and that idea is known as Pascal's law. And you can see this happen if you squeeze a balloon and I'm sure you've done this. If you take an inflated balloon and you squeeze one end, the other end bulges. So if you end up with a shape like this. If you're squeezing down here, you're squeezing the air and you're forcing the air over into the other end and it's pushing out over here and so the other end of the balloon ends up bulging outward. And that's an example of Pascal's law in action. Even though your force is applied over here on this side, it's transmitted through the air over to the other side of the balloon. And that idea that a force can be transmitted through the fluid becomes very, very useful. And we'll look at a couple of cases where this shows up in uh, applications in the real world.